Hey guys, so my chemistry professor did a pretty cool reaction where he lit ice on fire using calcium carbide. I wanted to recreate that reaction and share it with you. Okay, so I put some ice in this flask right here and all I have to do now is add the calcium carbide and ignite the acetylene gas. This is what the calcium carbide looks like. Pretty I have placed some of the calcium carbide in the flask and if I now grab a lighter. So you can pretty clearly see that the acetylene gas has lit on fire, but it doesn't necessarily look like the ice is on fire. So I'm going to transfer it into a beaker and hopefully we can get a cooler looking reaction from that. That looks so cool. The last experiment worked pretty well but it didn't look like the ice was on fire, and that's the illusion I want to capture. The acetylene gas is immediately produced. That looks more like it. This reaction is now producing acetylene gas as well as calcium hydroxide. As you can see, the ice rapidly starts to melt, and this allows for the calcium carbide to react with even more water, create even more acetylene. Okay, so the flame has gone out, and if we look inside, we can see that acetylene gas is still clearly being produced. I'm going to try and reignite it. Woo! What we're left with is a very basic solution of water, calcium hydroxide, as well as soot. Calcium hydroxide has a very high pH and is sometimes used in fertilizers to reduce the acidity in soil. As a little finale to this video, I'd like to fill up some balloons with acetylene gas and light them on fire. I have three different sizes of balloons. Uh, we're going to go from smallest to biggest. Here we go. Here's the next one. That one made my entire blowtorch black. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you're not already. And peace out. This might be cool. Ooh. Look at that. It immediately made the entire bottle black. Interesting.